Hey there. Today I'm going to be giving you a uh, review on the Sunto Core all black military style watch. Um, so first off, let's just take a uh, look at the watch itself. Um, this watch has a 50 millimeter casing, so that'd be from side to side, it's 50 millimeters. Um, which, when it's on the wrist, really doesn't, I mean, not zoomed in, but it's not that big on my 8 inch wrists. Um, the uh, thickness is 14 millimeters, so that'd be from the top to the bottom of the casing. Um, on the right side here, you have three textured buttons, and uh, the bottom button is going to be the electroluminescent light button. Um, the top one is going to be your um, reset button for multiple different functions, and then this uh, middle button is going to be uh, your mode selector switch. On the other side, we have um, two more buttons. This is going to be your function um, switch for particular displays. It'll allow you to switch through the different functions on that particular display. And it also serves as the uh, back button for one when you're in the menu. Um, this top button is going to be your stop start um, button for multiple different things. And then here on the side, this little uh, indented U with these two holes, this is going to be your um, sensor for your um, altimeter, barometer, and uh, thermometer. And on the back here, you have the uh, case backing with the um, user replaceable battery. As you can see, there's uh, this 30 meter water resistance, 100 feet. Um, the band it comes with is this uh, elastic kind of rubber silicone uh, band with a blackened stainless steel buckle on it. It fits really nice and it's very comfortable to wear. Um, it's even more comfortable than I'd say a uh, smaller G-Shock. I have no problem wearing this on my wrist all day long. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, face of the watch. On the face you have a uh, bi-directional swivel bezel with um, I guess they're tritium, two tritium dots uh, on the top for your north indicator. Um, and then around the bezel you have your uh, compass degrees for using uh, bearing tracking and whatnot. Okay, now this is going to be your home display that's going to display your time. Um, I have it set obviously to a 24 hour time and on the side here you can see this uh, little digital ticker going around that signifies the uh, seconds and on the bottom it'll show your uh, day and date. You can also go through and have it show the uh, seconds in a uh, numerical readout as well. You can have it show your uh, dual time. So you can set this time to uh, any other country uh, or city um, from selected locations around the world. And then you have your sunrise, sunset. And then you have your stopwatch. So you see these little uh, indicators that lit up over here. This shows you that this button is going to be the button you're going to want to press to uh, start and also to stop. Now that you've stopped, you see that this button lights up and that's going to be telling you that you're going to use this button to either split or reset. So if you hold it down, it'll reset itself. So we keep going and you have a uh, five minute countdown timer. Stop that and reset it. And then you can also have it show nothing on the bottom. I imagine that would conserve a little bit of power. I just like to leave it on the uh, day and date. Now up here on the top, um, you're going to see that little parallel line there. 
and that's going to show your uh, barometric pressure trend and it's either going to be you know going up or down or parallel um, depending on the the pressure variations over the past um, about three to six hours and then on the uh, right side here you can see the uh, little bell that signifies that I have an alarm set and then beside that you see a little uh, auto and what that means is that the watch is set to automatic um, switch mode which is going to automatically decide whether or not it should be in altimeter or barometer mode because they both use the same sensor so if you have it set on auto um, say you go for a car ride and you're going up and down hills it's obviously going to sense um, pretty quick barometric pressure changes so what this will do when it's on auto mode is it'll automatically sense that and it'll put you into altimeter mode because it figures that you're you know driving or hiking and the weather is not to blame for the uh, barometric pressure changes so that's a really neat feature I like having that okay let's go and press this middle button and that'll take us to the uh, second mode which is gonna be right now because it's just uh, been sitting here it's gonna be the barometer um, mode and up here is going to show you your barometric pressure and below that you'll see this uh, graph which is going to show you the um, pressure change or the trend over the last I'm not exactly sure how many hours um, it displays but it's going to give you a good idea of what has been happening for the last uh, probably six hours and um, it's a really neat feature. I like having that. You can, uh, you know, see a uh, steep drop in the graph. You know, when an, when a storm's coming through, and uh, you'll see it rise real sharply if you know a high pressure system is coming through with some better weather. And uh, on the bottom here, you're gonna see Ref 1555. That's gonna be your uh, reference altitude that you put in because in order to calibrate itself it's going to want a reference altitude and a reference sea level uh, sea level pressure and um, so this is saying that the reference altitude I put in right now is uh, going to be 1555 and if we go to the next function it's going to show you your time on the bottom here and then I'll show you nothing or your next function will show you your um, temperature which of course like all these ABC watches is only going to be um, accurate if it has been not on your wrist because obviously it's going to pick up your body temperature and then you're going to have your uh, log function which is um, really neat I like having the log function I'll get into that a little bit later and then back to the reference so let's go to the uh, altimeter. See, here you can see the altimeter function where it shows your altitude in the middle. And then you go through there and uh, you can set a log for the altimeter. And another cool thing is on the altimeter function, you can press this button and it's going to monitor any uh, height change from where you press the button to where you stop the button. Uh, right there I obviously misread because I, I didn't go up three feet um, but say you want to see how tall a hill is you'll start this at the bottom and stop it at the top and it'll show you your altitude change so that's pretty awesome obviously your temperature 